coming from the farthest reaches of the universe. To challenge the worst toy repairs on Earth is the most powerful hero ever, Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And in today's video, we're repairing a toy that I have never seen before. That is this 1979 Superman, which is made by a company called The Marks Company, which seems to be a subsidiary of uh, the Takara Company in Japan. Now, this was very kindly given to me recently by uh, Yuichi, who is a good friend of mine, uh, who used to have a shop in Tokyo called Toy Cat Showcase. In fact, he still uh, sells stuff online and hopefully one day he will have a shop again. Well, recently I met up with him and he gave me a whole load of toys. We did a little little trade and one of the things that he gave me was this it's a very strange little superman it is part die cast metal his body is die cast i think his legs are die cast his feet feel a little bit like die cast metal but his arms are plastic and he has these odd little fists here but the main strange thing about him is the way he looks uh, this just doesn't look like superman obviously his body looks like superman but he's got a silver head and he's got silver hands now i think there's obviously some connection between this and the uh, micronauts and microman figures that takara made because back in the uh, late 70s early 80s they were producing these figures which as you can see have silver heads so uh, it might be that they just thought that that was a nice thing to do and that's the reason they made this as i say i don't really know a huge amount about it if you know anything about it then they do sort of leave some comments below i think it's called the uh, mark company but it definitely says uh, dc comics on the back of it 1979 so it is a an official release but this poor chap has a bit of an issue and that is one of his fists has snapped off now uh, it looks like someone has uh, repaired this previously and just glued the fist on but i want to try and repair it properly this time because actually these fists are sort of removable if i wiggle this one a bit you can see that the fist comes out and it's got a little uh, post on it whereas this one hasn't because uh, someone has uh, just super glued the fist back on so that little post is still stuck inside i'm hoping we can remove that post and then actually repair this properly that's what we're going to try and do so uh, let's see what happens as i can see there are going to be two ways to fix this one way is we just drill a hole into what's left there uh, drill a hole into this and insert some sort of bit of lego or a bit of uh, metal to uh, reinforce that and just glue the fist back on but really i would like to try and remove that uh, little uh, plastic piece there and actually reattach that to the hand so we can still He'll take the hand out like the other one uh, but as i say this has been super glued i think it certainly feels like super glue so the first thing i'm going to try is to see if i can actually remove this i'm going to scrape away as much of the super glue as i can and i've got this very tiny screwdriver which i'm hoping i can sort of get in there and pick some bits out and maybe we can get this uh, post out but i don't really know at the moment we're just going to have to uh, see what happens because this is old plastic it could be quite brittle i'm not sure uh, what's going to happen so let's just give it a go i have a knife here first thing to do is just to gently scrape off the glue from the top that i can see is holding everything on so i'm just going to scrape this back and hopefully that will start to free up the top of it and then I'm going to ease the knife in either side and see if I can break the uh, glue either side. Just have to go slow. Actually, I can see some movement there, just breaking that little bit of uh, glue on the side. And I can actually see that little piece is moving. That gives me some hope. So uh, maybe I can get this screwdriver in. Oh, look at that, done it. That was what I was hoping. So now we have the two parts and we can actually fix this properly by drilling some small holes and inserting, I think possibly a piece of paper clip into that, give that a bit of strength. So uh, let's get that fixed up now. Now comes the uh, tricky bit because I've got to drill two holes into some very tiny pieces of plastic and I want them to be the same diameter as this piece of uh, paper clip. So I've got my pin vise here. I've put a drill bit in it that is about the same size. In fact, possibly a little bit smaller than the paper clip, but that's ideal. And I've got, just got to uh, very carefully drill holes into this so that we can insert a small piece of that in and then glue everything in place. The fist shouldn't be too hard to uh, drill into. It's this tiny piece that I'm a bit concerned about because it really is very small. But we'll just see what happens. Worst case is I rebuild this piece out of some styrene, but I think I can uh, repair it. And then we just have to uh, glue everything back on. So let's just give this a go.
As you can see, I did actually manage to drill the holes in. The fist was pretty easy. That tiny little piece there, I've got it as close to the center as I can, and I think that will work pretty well. So first thing to do is actually to glue a bit of paper clip into this small one, because I'm just worried about losing it. Then we can trim off the paper clip and make sure that it actually fits and is the right length. And at that point, I can do a test fit and make sure that everything actually sort of still fits inside the Superman's wrist. If that all works, I will glue the final piece in. So let's glue this in. I've just got some super glue here. I'll put a tiny bit onto a piece of uh, paper and then I'm going to uh, dip the end of the uh, paper clip into that just so it's got a small amount of glue on it and then push that into this hole and that will be enough just to uh, set it and glue it in place just like that. It really is a tiny piece of plastic as you can see and I drilled a hole in there which is about I'm going to say sort of three or four millimeters long so if I just trim this down to be about three or four millimeters like so that should work so it has to go up but though one particular way that's why I left this other fist out you can see there's a curved part of it which is pointing to the top part of the fist and this one again has a curved part of it so let's push this in see if it actually fits that's not bad I think I need to cut a little bit more off the, the post there so let's just trim that paper clip down just a little bit more Make sure that that does actually fit. Yeah, that's not bad. So quick test fit and then we can actually glue this in properly. So the, which fist is this? This is his uh, left fist. So let's push that in. Oh yeah, that's going to work really well. You can see that does actually still fit. Fits pretty well. So we'll do the uh, final bit of gluing now. So I'll just remove that. I'll put a fresh bit of uh, super glue on this piece of paper. And again, I'm just going to take the uh, paper clip here and I'll push that into the glue. Just so there's a small amount on there. And then we can push that into the fist like that. And we'll let everything set. That glue has now had time set and I've just done a little bit of tidying up on the inside uh, where there was still a few little bits of glue residue which was stopping the hand going in properly. So we can now insert this in and that should mean that Superman is back ready for action and he is. So it's a really strange looking toy, not one I've ever seen before. If you do happen to know anything about this, then please uh, leave a comment below. I'd certainly like to uh, get a little bit more information on it, but it's just such a unique piece. And as I showed you at the start, it really does have a sort of link to the uh, Micronauts and Microman figures just in the way it looks with the uh, silver head there and the silver hands. It's a very strange combination, but I really like it. So a massive thank you to uh, Yuichi for uh, doing a trade with me on this. It's a strange piece and going to go on display here with the rest of my uh, Microman figures, just because uh, I think it sits well with those. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you've really enjoyed it and want to help support the channel, then why not think about becoming a Patreon or YouTube channel member? You get early access to all of my restoration videos and access to an exclusive series called On The Cutting Mat, where I show restorations that you won't see anywhere else so have a think about that and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy ploy subscribe for more great videos